is the um, first time I'm working the Carmel Doll Shop Boutique, and I'm very excited to announce uh, Labor of Love, my first kit, my first design um, for Carmel Doll Shop Boutique, and I'm calling the Champ Elysee. And it consists of a, a chemisette, a dress, classic dress with bretelles, a matching cape, and a feather trimmed hat with streamers. And I have to tell you, um, doing this for the first time shows me how much uh, love and time go into all of their kits because it's quite the production. <laughs> But I have loved every minute of it, and um, hopefully um, you'll see this for sale on their website. I'm not sure what we've done is I've actually made um, some samples for uh, Carmel Doll Shop out of some new materials that they have using patterns by Cheryl Williams and Denise BC. Um, I think two of, uh, this is Cheryl Williams' pattern in this beautiful uh, reprinted foil. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this is Michael's um, Joyeux Noël dress, which is really charming. Look at this. And then, um, actually, I think we did this class together, maybe. We may have. We may have. So again, this is the original Denise uh, BC kit, or pattern, rather, oh. selling the patterns. Oh, yeah, this is the fabric. Mm -hmm. But we've made it up for the smaller Romer in this new printed boy. So really just shows you how versatile, just as the you know the Hurays and the Romer, um, the Romers did. They they recreated uh, these costumes in many different styles and you know did new trims and did different things. And we have a whole wardrobe here. So so love these little platforms that uh, the shop has made. You know they're just already done for you, you just have to trim them. Oh, she's pretty. Oh yeah, I yeah, love, uh, love Carl's that work. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta <laughs> shut this one. That's too nice. Yeah, it's over here. And then we've got a whole other colorway here. Um, this coming to America pattern that was done by Louise Hedrick, we've made it in this really bold uh, 19th century reprint cotton with a matching hat. You know, and that's the great thing about the these hats. They're already covered. All you have to do is really trim them and um, embellish them. And here's Timothy Albert's wonderful um, fashion chapeau and little there's a little display here of the, the hat store. Yeah, really lovely things. And then um, this is, uh, Deborah Jenkins is now, they're now selling her, her pattern, um, not in a kit form, and I've made up a little uh, dress based on that, uh, that pattern for Matilda out of this gorgeous red silk that they're offering and this reprint of a 19th century voile. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then you have the full array of the um, of Michael's lovely kits that Angela did a video for. It's going into this gorgeous pattern. Well, it, it doesn't hurt that those dolls are so beautiful. Oh, they're gorgeous. And then, actually, this is um, one of Denise Bisi's, uh patterns that I created in this new um, cotton that's available. And this lovely, lovely 18th century re, uh, recreation silk. Yeah. They, do such, they do such wonderful, you know, I think when you're looking for fabric for dolls, it's so hard to find. You know, you couldn't find this anywhere, this border print. And here it is, this gorgeous reprint that they've, they've done based on that original puree dress. The dress made up. Yep. And this is Cheryl Williams' work. I mean, it's just exquisite. I was uh, spending some time with it. Really, the most beautiful craftsmanship. She is really something. Oh, she's amazing. Although, you know, you aren't too shabby yourself. Uh, I'm not. I'm, oh I aspire to people like Deborah and Denise and, um, and Cheryl uh, uh, I don't, and Timothy. Uh, I think you sell yourself way too short.
So what do we have up here? We have a whole array of Fanny and Friends ensembles here. Um, we have, you know, the, some of the kits are, have come back, have been um, replenished, especially the Chat Noir, which is with that black beaded um, ensemble with the gorgeous oh feather. Oh gosh, I don't think I can get the sparkle. I know, it's very hard it's to capture really on camera. really great. Oh. And there's a, a wide variety of the dolls now available in the shop. And these, if people haven't bought these, I would really recommend that you get a couple. These dress forms are made from her body mold. Okay. And they not only display the costumes beautifully, but you can also use them to fit to, which is wonderful if you don't want to have to keep undressing and dressing her. I just finished this one for a client in the in the different, um, I think this is the same material. No, I think it's a slightly different, the new issue is a slightly different material, but it's just as gorgeous. And, and here's then, all the patterns. All, all the patterns, all the kits. And then um, they've put together these prepackaged um, uh, cottons and silks. Um, there's some wonderful black tarlatan here, white tarlatan. Their um, the Christmas dress silk is available, the bluebirds uh, cotton. Oh. Yeah, it's just like an embarrassment of, uh, of riches, riches here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and what's this up here? No, these two, I think this is Starry Starry Night, which is a gorgeous Fanny ensemble. And this one is Pretty as a Peacock, which is a very wonderful pattern. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it's all beaded. It's beaded down the sleeve, it's beaded down the front. They're dangling beads. It's just a, it's a gorgeous peacock chiffon. It's hard to catch all these. Wow. And you know, That's a wow. these dolls are wonderful to sew for because they're not large. They're small and the patterns are, are really, they look elaborate. They're really not. The construction is very, very simple. Um, so I think that if you have sort of even basic sewing skills, you could run with these and have a lot of fun. It's just really about the embellishment. And they're small. They're small. It's not like dressing a, a human. No, it's not like dressing a human or even, uh, you know, even these curés are of a certain size. But I think the interesting thing, and Michael's already said it once, is that the experience of, of sewing for these dolls and these dolls is exactly different because there's a simplicity in the line here. This is about drape. Um, this is about you sort of bias and drape and clinging and embellishment, you know, the, the sequins that are applied here. It's, it's a, you have the same skill set, you know, and it's not that complicated, but it's a totally different aesthetic and, and feeling. And it's so interesting to sew for this doll because she's really is kind of like a modern woman. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and she's a oh, she's a, a lady as opposed to the the enfantines. Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. Well, gosh, Jeffrey, I think we've covered it all, huh? Yeah, and one thing I will say is that <laughs> I'm going to plug, I do a shameless up. plug. I um, now have a website where I'm featuring some work that um, I've created for clients and for myself. And I had some business cards printed up. And I hope that um, I can sew for some of you someday. Well, we'd like that. Yeah, I would love that. I love and sewing. Maybe me. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. All right. Thank you so Thank much, Thank you, Barbara. Jeffrey. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.